Do you too. We're totally sorry. But we have posted peer-reviewed science that violates community guidelines. We messed up. That's what it comes down to. Um, we're the dancers, obviously, which is why we'll be wearing these hats for the rest of the day, just to... Oh, I thought we were going to wear them for the rest of our podcasts from now on. Forever? Yeah. I mean, that's a little extreme. I just, I mean, even like we have to go to the grocery and then I think we should wear them there just to, you know, really reflect on what we've done here, you know? I agree. So anyways, I was thinking we could go through this uh, community guidelines training, which we have to do. Maybe you guys could learn something from going through this with us. So here we go. I take my re-education very seriously. I think this is going to be very good. You have unlimited attempts to get it right. Well, that's good. Thank God. I was worried about that. You know, I've always known that there was problems with peer review. And so I'm really glad that I'm really glad that they're taking a stand on this and saying that only this massive world organization that is mostly a bureaucracy is going to be deciding what passes for science well, yeah, that we're allowed to talk about. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, sometimes uh, peer review goes against the actual authorized perspective. Like, you have to have somebody at the top who decides what is acceptable and what isn't, right? Like, peer review, you know, they're like, they're scientists, like, they're a little bit biased because they... You know, they have training and that kind of thing. And like they've been... Spend a lot of time in labs. And I feel like they're disconnected from the profit motive that underlies a lot of these things. And so it's really important that somebody's around to basically keep them honest. Keep them focused on what's really important. Which right, is which is making money. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. All right. First question. In a video, a creator recommends people diagnosed with cancer avoid what he describes as toxic chemotherapy chemicals and radiation therapy recommended by medical professionals. And instead... Is this a violation... I mean, obviously, because the medical authorities recommend the toxic stuff, right? That's, That's correct. correct. Yeah. Okay, Juan uploads videos documenting his cancer treatment journey. Juan recommends viewers undergoing chemotherapy consume more high citrus fruits to reduce the negative side effects of this cancer treatment. So Juan is eating fruits. Uh, but he's still undergoing the therapy and he's recommending others do it as well, so... Not a violation. All right, you got it right, Nastia. You're really learning how to think here. I've always been very good at tests. Tammy posts a video after getting the typhoid. She shares that she became permanently paralyzed after receiving her. In this video, she warns others not to get the. It's a miracle that she got her video uploaded. It is, paralyzed yeah. Paralyzed as she is. Yeah, that is pretty incredible that she could still film videos after being paralyzed. But I think <laughs> that was her first priority, no less. Um, I'm gonna say that she shouldn't have made that video, uh... Personally, I think that it's just sheer vanity, and she should be punished for it. That too, yeah, that's just... that's so selfish, I mean... That's right, it is, indeed. In a video uploaded to YouTube, doctor said that chemotherapy may not be the best treatment for all cancers. This is what we got in trouble for. If this is actually a violation, I'm... Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Like, this is... Well, the thing is, he says for all... We cancers may not be the best treatment for all cancers and he's like go talk to your doctor like see this shows how big of idiots we are honestly we don't understand i have a good instinct about this which is why i'm dunce number two and not dunce here, number please, one. i think you should click the answer here because i'm really on the fence i mean that's right it's not a violation because experts are telling other experts to go expert with one another and their patients Interesting. I thought that's what he's we got. Not, he's not an oncologist. Oh, oh he's, he's a scientist. Yeah, he's a scientist. He's not licensed. Nice, yes. He's violated the gilding. Okay, Misaki and her friends film themselves having a conversation in the car. In the video, Misaki says she wants to get the HPV because will help prevent her from getting cervical cancer. Well, that's basically just an advertisement. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean... Sounds like people are gonna make money off of this video. Yeah, I mean, so not 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 necessarily Misaki, but so, maybe she's invested. That's true. That's true. Maybe she's got some stocks. It's, in it's on the blockchain. <laughs> so absolutely not. That is what we want here Textbook. on this platform. Textbook. All right. Sarah uploaded a video saying that she still has stage four lung cancer after several rounds of chemo. So it's clear that the chemo didn't work. Her pronouns changed halfway through that sentence. Oh crap, I think we might have just violated another community guideline unrelated to medical <laughs> misinformation. Uh, it's, oh, oh, it's checkboxes. Oh, yeah, you gotta pick, correct. you gotta correct all, all the correct, correct answers. answers. 
This video doesn't violate the policy because stage four lung cancer is incurable. I, I honestly don't have the necessary, I don't know whether it's incurable or not. Huh? Good Lord. Uh, this is, this okay, video, wait, what do they teach us on standardized tests? You have to eliminate some options. The obvious ones first. Okay, right? okay. This video doesn't violate the policy because she, they, is allowed to share her, her, <laughs> her experience with approved cancer treatments. I, I, I would approved say, cancer treatment. Yeah. Somebody's making money. Okay, yeah. that's the one. That's, that's correct. Uh, the video doesn't violate the policy because everyone knows it doesn't work. They're Absolutely not. They're Absolutely money. not. They would money. never agree to that. Here we go, guys. Oh! Oh, it was a bait and switch, right? Check boxes, but there's only one right answer. A well-known creator uploads a video in which he warns women not to get as proof he cites a medical study, which he says concluded women who get surgery or future so multiple choice these ones are really scary for me i'm actually sweating right now i don't know if you can feel my hands i mean I'm, I'm, i've been sweating all along I yeah just, we're really sweating oh my goodness <laughs> their butts is so sweaty interfacing with the machine man this video does not violate the policy because the creator is just sharing his opinion I don't know if opinions are totally welcome uh, on this platform. I think about medical procedures. So it's, what's really creepy is they have a medical misinformation policy about I, th I, I think that it's going to be number two here. I am inclined to say it doesn't violate the policy because the creator cites a medical study as supporting evidence. But we know that can't be true because that's what we did. Well, we didn't have the paper. No, we didn't. We did in, in, in the longer version. Shh. Shh. It hasn't been pulled from you to Shh. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's number two. Send it, dude. The last one, the video does not violate the policy because the creator cites a medical study. I don't think that's true. Oh, that's, that's correct. correct. All right. Is, but that's fair. I mean, the health authorities are really... The health the authorities source. are always correct. Never doubt the health authorities. They Seriously. will never lead you astray. Seriously, do not. Otherwise, do not. perhaps you will be done. It's number three. And nobody wants that. So our warning will expire sometime in the middle of the summer. <laughs> if we June 30, 2026. If we screw up again, worse things will happen. If we violate another policy, we'll get a warning for that one. That's nice. That's nice. So if we screwed up with the uh, you know, mis misgendering or something. Mm, all right. Well, that's oh, we should collect them all like Pokemon. We should see if we can uh, gently violate every single community guideline. I think Shiloh would die. Of stress. I, I'm already <laughs> sweating just thinking about it. I, I, honestly. All right, you guys. All right, guys. We're going to go on with our day. Uh, but remember. I hope everybody learned something from this. I, I know I did. Never doubt the authorities. Never. They're always going to. Never. Never doubt the authorities. Never.